Hello, my name is Anna Mead and I'm presenting this session on knowledge in science. In this session today, I will outline the differences between substantive and disciplinary knowledge, outline the three main areas of substantive knowledge, the main areas of disciplinary knowledge and the interplay between the two. The research review series in science published by the by gov.uk on the 29th of April 2021, classifies scientific knowledge as substantive and disciplinary. This is useful for curriculum design as it reflects how knowledge is arranged in science. It's important to see how these work together when teaching science. Substantive knowledge is defined as the concepts, laws, theories. Disciplinary knowledge is working scientifically or the scientific inquiry knowledge of science. Declarative is conceptual knowledge, knowing that and why. Non-declarative is procedural knowledge, knowing how to and being able to. Substantive knowledge. The products of science are according to three subject disciplines of biology, chemistry and physics. Biology being understanding living things, chemistry being the behavior of matter using models and modeling, and physics builds explanations on measurable quantities and relationships. Earth science is frequently considered to be a fourth, but taught through the other three. All sciences explain matter in the material world. Disciplinary knowledge. Disciplinary knowledge is learning how scientific knowledge is developed over time, referred to as the working scientifically in the national curriculum. Disciplinary knowledge can be defined in at least four areas. Scientific method is not just fair testing. This is often overemphasized. It's also the modeling, synthesis, classification, pattern seeking, and experimentation. Knowledge of apparatus and techniques is the ability to use apparatus to carry out specific procedures safely. Knowledge of data analysis is the processing and presenting of data while exploring relationships and communicating results. Knowledge of how science uses evidence to develop explanations is the tentative and valid conclusions that eventually may lead to the development of laws over time. It's useful to understand the distinction between the two for curriculum design. It reflects how knowledge is arranged and used in the sciences. Pupils need to understand the what and the why together with the evidence that proves them. Disciplinary knowledge relies on the fact that pupils understand the procedure and the concept behind it. It's sometimes assumed that pupils will pick up skills simply by doing, but carrying out practical investigations skillfully is dependent on pupils having learned a domain of knowledge first. Here is an example of this. Both substantive and disciplinary knowledge are underpinned by the knowledge of procedures and concepts. This interplay in, is here in a clear and succinct table. It's directly taken from the science review series that I linked at the end of this presentation and mentioned at the beginning. Knowledge of liquids and the particle model is essential in the use of a thermometer and the understanding of how it works. What order would you teach of the, each of these ideas in? Does it matter what order? As I mentioned before, the aim of the science curriculum is to understand the material world. Embedding disciplinary knowledge within substantive knowledge content will ensure that the coverage is robust. So looking at the main summary points from the review, it's important to understand how to organize the knowledge within the curriculum, including the practical work, the what, choosing the correct pedagogical choices, the how, and ensuring the assessment for, as, and of learning is effective. That's the impact. 
Your curriculum should build an authentic understanding of what science is. Prioritise building knowledge in a meaningful way, taught using pedagogical methods that deliver the content in a balanced and effective way. Here are some key questions to take away from this session. Thinking of a key concept you've taught in science recently. How did you identify the main concept, the composite, and how did you develop it? What were the component parts that fitted into this composite? Was it successful and how do you know? What was the impact? Did you, might, did you make the right pedagogical choices when you were teaching it? i.e. how did you teach it? And how have you organized the knowledge of working scientifically, the disciplinary knowledge, into this composite? Can you show how this knowledge has advanced over time? This is your impact, your assessment for, as, or of learning. Hopefully I have achieved the aims of this session, which were to outline the differences between substantive and disciplinary knowledge, outline the three main areas of substantive knowledge, the many areas of disciplinary knowledge, and a little bit about the interplay between the two. Here are the references I used for this session. Thank you very much for watching this session on knowledge in science. Bye-bye.